<sighs> Bob on Blitz 6 here again. More people trying to screw me over on a daily basis, but whatever. They try to brainwash me. But anyway, I covered another video about electronics. Just blending broke I was trying to blend taco. It was a two blade, not a five or six blade like it's supposed to be. So what happened was that somewhere along the line somehow water got on the inside or charcoal or oil got on the inside and it burnt the mold out. So I thought I was gonna fix it, air it out, dry it out, and repair whatever damaged by reconnecting the copper wire and airing the crap out and then dehydrating the inside out where it become dry again, brittle, where you can operate again. But instead, I got extremely lazy, didn't want to do all that, so I'm just going to use a motor with something else. So, here it is when it's taken apart. Uh, depends on what state, what city, what country you're in, wires may different. Usually there's a hot wire, a neutral wire, or a ground wire. I'm going to keep it simple. A wire that have hot electricity coming in, a wire with no electricity coming in, and a wire that directs both of those to somewhere else other than you. But since this is electronic, it's just a a live wire and a dead wire. Basically one wire carry positive charge electrons, one wire carry no charge electrons. I don't know how to positive electrons are negative. Anyway, I don't know how do you want me to think about it. You can tell that you can tell actually if I strip this wire I can tell which one it is. The red usually be positive, unless it's like housework, then black can be usually positive, and brown be ground, or gray is ground, or neutral, whatever, I don't know. These two have a significance, one is positive, the other is neutral, and if you have a three, one is one positive, neutral, and ground, otherwise one carry in the light of electricity, one carry out the used electricity, ground, or the, the right version plug is just in case. These two don't do properly, it goes into that ground. Anyway, usually when you when you hit this switch, this here is press. Oh wow. Anyway, when you hit this switch, it should be dead, but whatever. When you hit this switch, this push on this. And this connects the red wire with the negative red wire, which is two live wires that's connected to the freaking uh, neutral wire, which is connected on the side, which cause the activation of electrons to flow into the copper, which flows in the magnet, which push the pin that cause it to work. The reason why I won't do a demonstration is because A, this is unsheeted, and B, this is surrounded by plastic, it should be safe, but just in case, I'm not going to do it. So, uh, if you can see on the inside, uh, any brown areas to copper, it surrounds a magnet. So, when the magnet spins, it spins the magnetic, the not the magnetic, the electromagnetic field. The electrons to the copper start circulating. And that only circulates if you have a positive neutral charge connecting to a power source. Now, that's a whole different story because power source could be anything off from everything. There's literally electrons flowing there for positive neutral. Heck, you can use your body, your body as an own power source. Anyway, I'm done with this video.